Are you opening SAP for the very first time and feeling overwhelmed by all the screens, codes, and menus? Don't worry, you're not alone. In this video, I'll give you a complete beginner-friendly walkthrough of how to use SAP step-by-step, -step, how to log in, and what you see first. What the main areas of the screen mean, how to use a T-code and command field, and how to navigate your first transaction in SAP. If you've never touched SAP before, this is the perfect place to start. Part 1. Logging into SAP. When you open SAP for the first time, you'll be presented with a login screen that may look a bit technical. Don't panic. This is normal. You'll see three main input fields. Client number, a three-digit number like 100 or 800 that identifies which system environment you're logging into. X, production, test, training. User ID, your personal login name. Password, your unique access password. To log in, enter all three fields. Click the green check icon or press. Enter on your keyboard. If everything is correct, you'll be taken to the SAP Easy Access screen. This is your starting point. Pro tip. If you're using a training system, your instructor or system admin will usually give you the client number and login details. If you're in a company, this is often preset for your user role. Part 2. Understanding the SAP Easy Access screen. Once you're logged in, the Easy Access screen is what you'll see. It may look complex at first glance, but let's break it down. The screen has four main parts. Command field, top left. This is where you can type T codes, shortcuts to specific transactions. Menu tree, left panel. This shows folders for every SAP module, sales, logistics, etc. You can click through to access functions, favorites, top of menu tree. You can save frequently used T codes or paths here for quick access. Main window area, right side. This is where the screens or transactions will open. Visual tip. SAP GUI may look outdated, but it's very powerful. You can customize fonts, layout, and colors. Tool tips appear if you hover your mouse over most icons or fields. Part three, what is a T code and how to use it? T code stands for transaction code. It's like a shortcut or a magic key that instantly takes you to the function you want to use. For example, typing VA01 takes you to create sales order. Typing SEE38 opens the ABAP program screen. Instead of clicking five levels deep in the menu, just use a T code. It's much faster. How to use a T code. Click in the command field, top left. Type the code, e.g. VA01. Press Enter. You're now inside the transaction screen. Common beginner T codes, VA01, create sales order. ME21N, create purchase order. SE38, run ABAP program. MM03, display material master pro. Tip, if the command field is not visible, click the small icon near the top left corner of the screen or press Ctrl plus slash to show it. Part 4, Navigation. Using the SAP menu tree. If you don't know the T code or prefer clicking, you can use the menu tree on the left. The structure is based on departments or functions. Logistics, sales and distribution, sales, order, create, VA01. Materials management, purchasing, purchase order, MIE21 and Human Resources, Personnel Management, Master Data, PA30. Each time you click into a folder, SAP reveals more specific options. Enabling T-Code Display, to see T-Codes alongside the menu items, go to the top menu. Click Extras, Settings. Check the box labeled Display Technical Names. This is very helpful when you're learning because you start to associate T-Codes with their menu paths. Pro Tip. You can right-click on any transaction and add it to your favorites. Part 5. Creating your first transaction, VA01 example. 
Let's now walk through creating your first transaction in SAP using VA01. Create sales order. Step by step, in the command field, type VA01 and press enter. On the screen that appears, choose order type, OR, standard order. Enter your sales org, distribution channel, and division, click enter. You'll go to the next screen. Now enter, sold to party, customer, material number and quantity, click the check button. To validate, press save to complete the order. Visual tip, you'll see a document number generated after saving. This confirms your transaction was successful. Pro tip, not sure what to enter. Use the F4 key in any field to bring up a list of valid entries. You can even search by description. Part 6. Useful Keyboard Shortcuts and Help Once you're more familiar with SAP navigation, using keyboard shortcuts can make your work much faster and smoother. Here are some of the most useful ones every beginner should know. Essential Shortcuts F1 equals Field Help shows you a detailed explanation of the field, including technical names and data types. F4 equals possible entries. Opens a drop-down or search window where you can select valid entries for a field. Cotrl plus F equals find text on the current screen. Cotrl plus slash equals show or hide the command field. Cotrl plus S equals save your current data. Cotrl plus P equals print screen or document. Navigation tips. Press enter after every section to validate and move forward. Use the tab key to quickly jump between fields. Click on any button and press shift plus F1 to get additional information on that element. Where to find help. The help menu at the top contains a full SAP user manual. The SAP community, community.sap.com, is filled with thousands of answered questions. Use transaction SE93 to search for or explore the purpose of any T-code. Practice advice. Try to use T-codes and shortcuts together as often as possible. For example, typing VA01, then navigating using tab and enter and using F4 when you're unsure. This will build your SAP muscle memory much faster. Conclusion. You've officially taken your first full tour through SAP. Let's recap what you've learned, how to log in and understand the SAP interface, what the SAP Easy Access screen includes, how to use the command field and T-codes, how to navigate using the menu tree, how to create your very first transaction in VA01 and how to use essential keyboard shortcuts and help resources. This knowledge sets the foundation for everything else you'll do in SAP, from creating purchase orders to running reports or writing ABAP code. Subscribe to SAP AFUS if you found this helpful. Every week we publish beginner-friendly tutorials, career tips, and practical SAP walkthroughs. Got questions? Leave a comment below. Whether it's about a specific T code or what confused you the most as a beginner. Thanks for watching and welcome to the SAP world. Your journey just began. Blast off!